So I welcome you all to day 26 of our anthropology lecture series. So let's get started. To, to, uh, yesterday we had already started the topic with concept of culture, meaning, definitions, etc. Today uh, we will study about concept of civilization and we will end this topic 2.1 today. right? So let's get started with the meaning of civilization. Now just uh, as we say like for example this is Indus Valley civilization or ancient uh, Egypt or Mesopotamia they are all civilizations which existed in the in the very uh, beginning right first civilizations that ever existed so now how do we say a civilization why do we not call it a culture right so all of these things we are going to discuss today so basically if we have to go into the meaning of what a civilization means it is basically that level of human social development which is considered to be most advanced for example the apex stage of human development would be a civilization right so whatever which whatever way you live the polity economy uh, anything in your culture the apex stage of that is or the most advanced stage of that is civilization right okay so now defining civilization civilization has been defined by many uh, thinkers so you can learn any which you like for the point of view of examination here I have quoted these three you can see any other if you like and just quote them like JJ Gillen says that more evolved and complex form of culture that means he believes that whatever uh, you know a culture is the most evolved and complex version of it would be a civilization that means if this is culture one this is culture two this is culture three and over the time this culture has become into this this has become into this this would be the apex stage that means the most evolved one the most advanced the most complex will be the culture uh, would be the civilization right so he believes the cultures more evolved in complex form right similarly McIver says civilization is material aspect of culture that means civilization is what we possess and culture is what we are now this is very important yesterday when we were talking about culture we were talking in terms of something which is more internal which is more ideational which is more value driven right we were saying that culture is uh, as uh, you know in the definition of eb taylor is the complex whole of knowledge morals values ideals and any other capability acquired by man as a member of the society that means what are morals what are values what is knowledge what what are these things these things are something which you cannot measure you cannot see these are not tangible things right so that means these are immaterial things they were talking about immaterial things right no doubt in terms of uh, other thinkers we said there is material culture and non-material culture also and the non-material aspect of culture is uh, we were talking about that right in the definitions but that is what it is this is immaterial that means this is not something which we can see or we can observe this is only that we can observe right we can internalize right but McIver says civilization is the material aspect of culture that means whatever is left whatever is not covered in the culture that is the material part of it for example if we say that uh, you know india may uh, pot earthen pots ko gharo mein use kiya jata hai to have water right uh, abhi bhi rural areas mein use karte hain hamari traditional cheeze like hand knitted sweaters these are all what these are material aspects of a culture so these are also things jab hum uh, India ko define karte hain to ye choti choti cheeze jo hai hamare culture ka part ban jati hai na but wo culture ka part na ho ke wo hamari civilization ka part hai because according to McIver the material aspect of a culture is civilization okay next is green now green believes that civilization uh, when it possesses science philosophy 
complex economy polity etc for example we were saying that uh, if we if we were seeing the evolution of man right what what did we see we we saw that they were hunters and gatherers then they slowly started to adapt to domestication of plants and animals then agriculture started commercialization of that started slowly and steadily uh, st uh, steadily metal also came script came societies grew so what was that that was all a you know a start to become a civilization green believes that there are certain characteristics which one culture needs to have to make it a civilization and what are those one is language and script right second is you know you need to have science the advent of philosophy then complex economy polity complex economy and polity means that in hunter gatherer stage we saw that they were only people who used to in a be in a group there was no leadership only band like everybody was equal fir dheere dheere when inequality came kingdom kind of things came into being right economy maybe we saw then trade grew then you know different classes emerged so all of these are aspects of civilization if it has more complex polity economy language script philosophy science then it is considered to be a civilization right i hope you now understand something about civilization don't worry as uh, we go on further in this chapter you'll understand now approach to study civilization now how to quantify or how to assume that now we have reached a civilization so for that lh morgan in his book ancient society proposed evolutionary scheme of entire society right see when we are going to study the chapter anthropological theories na there we we see the evolution evolutionists first one would be the evolutionist only and there we see one scheme of uh, idea which they totally believe everyone including morgan taylor fraser everybody believes in that that is that uh, human civilization has gone through a series of uh, you know uh, development and that start savagery to barbarism to barbarism to civilization right so basically they gave i what did they mean by savage or what did they mean by barbaric they attached certain conditions or what you can say uh, qualities to that for example in the savage state the man was a nomadic herder okay he was a gatherer hunter right with no uh, kind of political or economic uh, thing only they were only uh, you know hunting and eating right settled life was not there they were not having any kind of language or any script or any kind of communication okay the the life was not that complex but when they came to being barbaric they had already started domesticating plants and animals and agriculture had started with that a little uh, settled life started in uh, if we talk about religion or uh, family system some kind of religion had come in the kind the the marriages were more or less uh, polygamous right so these were certain kind of uh, characteristics that they attached to barbarism but when they came to civilization they believed that in family system only monogamy was there then only uh, you know in barbaric stage stage they were saying that polytheism is there that means belief in many gods but when we came to civilization there was only monotheism that means belief in one god right then metallurgy came in script came in uh, science came in so all these features they attached to civilizations but we also know this ki aisa nahi hota hai you know there are no, no watertight compartments for example today we still believe in we have belief in many gods right so that kind of uh, you know compartmentalization is not correct but ye hum this is not the topic for today this is the topic jo hum aage padhenge so let's leave that just try to understand ki 
दे वुड लाइक दे वुड ट्राइंग टू टेल कि कुछ एडवांसमेंट्स हो रही हैं इन द सोसाइटी देर आर सर्टन एडवांसमेंट्स दैट आर हैपनिंग सो दैट इज़ वट दे बिलीव कि ऐसे होगा एंड सिविलाइजेशन कुछ एपेक स्टेज होगा राइट सो दैट इज़ वॉट वी आर रीडिंग हम क्या पढ़ रहे हैं मोर एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म ऑफ कल्चर होगा हमने देख लिया सबसे ऊपर सिविलाइजेशन है देन इट इज़ मटीरियल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ कल्चर कल्चर में जो भी मटीरियल पार्ट होता है वो सिविलाइजेशन का पार्ट है ठीक है देन उसमें फिलोसफी इकोनमी पॉलिटी लैंग्वेज एंड स्क्रिप्ट ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू नो टूगेदर वेन अ कल्चर पोजेस ऑल ऑफ दिस इट बिकम सिविलाइजेशन तो हमने कुछ ऐसी ही बात करा राइट सो आई होप यू नाउ अंडरस्टैंड कि सिविलाइजेशन को स्टडी करने का अप्रोच क्या है सर्टन पैरामीटर्स की इफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर देयर इन अ कल्चर दैट मीन्स इट्स अ सिविलाइजेशन राइट ओके सो नाउ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन कल्चर एंड सिविलाइजेशन बिकॉज दीज टू टर्म्स कैन बी यूज सिनोनिमसली ऑल्सो बट इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट दे हैव सर्टन रिलेशनशिप्स एंड सर्टन डिफरेंसेज एज वेल फर्स्ट थिंग तो जब कंपेयर करोगे यू कैन पुट डेफिनेशन by any thinker you can write one like by eb taylor culture ka and then any of uh, one for the civilization also right then relationship between the two first thing is that they are interactive interactive means that both borrow from each other both contribute to each other for example if we say that civilization is the material aspect of culture right that means the philosophical idea of civilization must come from culture right hum bol rahe hain material aspect culture ka jo hai wo civilization hai to uska koi philosophical background bhi to hoga na to wo culture ho sakta hai right so that means they both interact with each other to make a complex whole dono aapas mein aadhe hain right because when we talk about for example indian civilization or in indus valley civilization what was it the seals the pottery the 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 mother goddess ka figure these were all material aspects of it balki jab hum uske bare mein baat karte hain indus valley civilization ke bare mein to hum bolte hain ki okay maybe there was no religion because hame hame kuch temples nahi mile but they were you know worshiping kuch kuch worship wo karte the ठीक है यू नो वो रिचुअल बेदिंग करते थे यू नो दे यूज टू लिव लाइक दैट और उन वो ऐसे uh, कुछ किंगडम टाइप चीज़ें हो सकती थी बिकॉज सिटाडल मिला है हमें खाना ऐसे स्टोर किया जाता होगा सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर वॉट दीज आर मटीरियल प्लस नॉन मटीरियल और इम मटीरियल पार्ट ऑफ इट राइट सो बोथ इंटरेक्ट विद ईच अदर थर्ड थिंग इज सिविलाइजेशन इज द इपेक्ट स्टेज ऑफ कल्चरल डेवलपमेंट जब जब कल्चर यू नो रीच इज इट्स इपेक्ट स्टेज दैट बिकम्स सिविलाइजेशन और ये एवोल्यूशनिस्ट मानते हैं ऐसा राइट right? अभी एवोल्यूशनिस्ट कौन है ये हम आगे पढ़ेंगे द द थिंग जो अभी मॉरन मॉर्गन का हमने देखा सिमिलरली ई बी टेलर एंड ऑल वही सेवेजरी टू बारब्रिज्म टू सिविलाइजेशन दैट इज वॉट द बिलीव सो उनके हिसाब से इट्स द इपेक्ट स्टेज राइट देन ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन अज्यूम कल्चरल सिग्निफिकेंस ओवर द टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हम मान के चल रहे हैं दैट सिविलाइजेशन इज द मटीरियल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ कल्चर तो इन सम टाइम इट बिकम्स इट हैज कल्चरल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम कुछ हवन कर रहे हैं राइट या वियरिंग अ सीक्रेट थ्रेड राइट दे मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम एन आइडिया कि यू नो ऐसा करना चाहिए बट ओवर द टाइम दैट सीक्रेट थ्रेड वॉट वी वियर उसका अपना ही एक सिग्निफिकेंस हो गया नाउ इट डिराइव मीनिंग टू थिंग्स राइट सो यू कैन सी हाउ इट मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम अ कल्चर बट नाउ इन सिविलाइजेशन इट हैज सर्टन कल्चरल सिग्निफिकेंस राइट सो दैट इज वॉट इट इज देन ये तो हो गए सिमिलैरिटीज और वॉट यू कैन से रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू बट दे हैव डिफरेंसेज ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ मेजरमेंट For example, we can say, of course, that uh, today's civilization is much more advanced to ancient civilizations because, for example, we have science and technology, we have electronics, we have gadgets. Today, world is so fast moving. We are comparing it because we have certain standard of measurement. For example, जब मेरे grandparents school जाते थे, they used to go on a cycle. 
बट वी गो ऑन अ कार राइट सो दैट इज वॉट वी आर मेजरिंग राइट और उनके घर में एक लैंडलाइन होता था अब वी हैव फोन्स राइट सो दैट इज हाउ द थिंग्स हैव इवॉल्व दे हैव ग्रोन दे हैव एडवांस्ड राइट सो वी आर वी कैन मेजर इट बट कैन वी से द मॉरल्स द आइडियाज दैट दे हैड वर यू नो नॉट एज ग्रेट एज what we have today we cannot say that right that means civilization because it is material can be measured but culture cannot culture is very internal culture is very organic right you cannot compare it with civilization right or you cannot compare different cultures right abhi hum is pe bhi aayenge so very important hum cultures ko compare nahi kar sakte that means we cannot say what is good what is bad right a culture is a culture it has grown in its own settings but civilizations can be compared then the second thing is elements of civilizations can be with, borrowed without change that means we have seen that also when british came as colonial masters to us we quickly adapted to their way of living right we we learnt english english became a part of our lives even till today english is one one of that one of those indispensable things in our lives that means that whatever suits us we can just uh, borrow it without any change but in culture it doesn't happen like that for example even if we are so uh, influenced by some culture we can adapt to it but we will only adapt to it in our own ways for example we feel that uh, western thinking is liberating it's uh, great okay so we will uh, you know as we will adapt that thing but it is not like we are going to change our culture altogether whatever we find nice in those cultures we are going to take from them right and rest retain what we have nice right but culture culture mein aisa hota hai civilization mein whatever is good up ले लेते हो राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंप्यूटर्स एंड स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर ग्रेट ठीक है कैपिटलिज्म का अपना फायदा वी आर वी आर टेकिंग इट विदाउट एनी चेंज वी आर ऑल्सो अडेप्टिंग टू इट बट कल्चर में ऐसा नहीं होता राइट देन सिविलाइजेशन इज एक्सटर्नल ऑफकोर्स वेन वी आर टॉकिंग की सिविलाइजेशन जो है कहीं ना कहीं मटीरियल है दैट मीन्स सिविलाइजेशन एक्सटर्नल है वी कैन व्यू इट वी कैन सी इट वी कैन फील इट but culture is very very internal very organic very to the people who you know uh, follow it culture वैसे जैसे religion religion भी बहुत internal चीज़ है your faith your uh, feeling towards the god is very internal it's your own like that culture is your own right you nurture it together but it is still a very internal feeling but civilization has many aspects of material things that is why it becomes external so i hope you have understood this topic guys right so now the last topic for the day and perhaps the most important in this chapter and also uh, this is you know what you can say anthropology ki jaan hai ye topic because you read anthropology for these things i feel this is my personal uh, feeling because uh, when i started to read this uh, subject na i felt like this was so liberating this was so interesting to learn because this is what uh, is required in today's time the concept of cultural relativism and ethnocentrism now just try to understand the whole anthropology we are saying we are trying to study humans in terms of time and space right and in second uh, subject that is indian anthropology उसमें भी उसमें तो हम इंडिया के बारे में और इंडिया के लोगों के बारे में वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अ लॉट इन डेप्थ एंड डिटेल राइट सो वेन वी सी दैट वी सी वन थिंग दैट नॉट इवन इंडिया आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द होल वर्ल्ड वन थिंग इज कॉमन दैट इज डाइवर्सिटी डाइवर्सिटी इज यू कैन से द वन कॉमन थिंग दैट यू विल सी एवरी प्लेस राइट so this diversity is something which we should cherish and not you know feel bad about it right so cultural relativism and ethnocentrism these two words have uh, you know contrasting meanings i'll just tell you see culture and relativism this is somewhere popularized by franz boas 
again we are going to read him in the further chapters do not worry he believed that every culture was uh, created in its own special and unique circumstances and environment so hence you cannot compare the cultures humne abhi bhi baat ki na culture is very internalized feeling right it is very um, morally driven ideally driven so you cannot compare the cultures because it is something which has developed in its own settings right and ethnocentrism is when you try to uh, you know compare any other culture by the prism of your own for example if i have for example this lady you can see this lady is saying that her she is believing that no cuisine is as good as our as that means she is viewing other cuisines in terms of her own food that means she is biased towards her own to aap isko bol sakte this is a perception bias also ki aapke dil mein ek bias hai you keep that bias and then judge other people right of course you will love your own thing apna desh apna culture apna religion apni family apni language apni ethnicity sab ko achhi lagti hai but it is not that you are going to judge other people from that prism right that is where intolerance breeds in that is where violence comes harmony is disturbed right so so why why do we need to study this this is very important we need to study this because it builds tolerance for example if i say that uh, in north east or any any other state right in the north east specifically they eat different kind of foods different kind of non vegetarian cuisines right so if i say that if i am a vegetarian for example if i am a vegetarian and if i am sitting on a table of 10 and eating with Uh, nine other people who are from different backgrounds they have different kind of food they have eaten all over their lives and if i start judging them because you know they eat a certain way that is not going to be good right that is not what we should do because everybody has lived in their own places in their own uh, you know environment so hame kya pata why do why do they eat that we are not too sure about that right for example hum bole ki tribals hain you know they still lived naked at many places right they do not mingle up with other cultures so if we will say ki ye to they are so savage or they are so backward they are not backward they just have a different culture the different way of living right similarly humne dekha hai in rural areas people mock them because they believe that they do not know english that means it's it's something which is very backward it's not like that they have lived in their own settings so it is not to feel you know kuch inferior hai kuch superior hai it is not like that it is just that they have grown in their own settings right jab aapko need arise hogi us cheez ki you will do it for example uh bahut log hain jo job ke liye english seekh lete hain because unko lagta hai ki now the need has arisen now i need to learn english till learn english it is just a way of you know having a conversation nothing else or you know just uh, doing a thing right just like hindi or uh, any tamil telugu any other language it is just a language right so it's nothing to feel inferior or superior about right so that is what the concept of cultural relativism is all about see other cultures in their own personal settings not with your own bias or prism right so it also builds tolerance it builds scientific temper reasoning these all things which are also you know our constitution says that we should build scientific temper reasoning that means we should not uh, feel th- we should not see things based on superstition but we should reason things we should say what what is good is good what is wrong is wrong not on the basis of basis of you know biases but on based of scientific uh, you know evidence or whatever for example if i say that uh, uh, in cultures parda system right in many many uh, cultures parda system is there or in you know uh, earlier times there used to be devadasi system or there used to be temple entry ban for untouchables now 
no scriptures uh, say that there should be temple entry ban or if there were any they they should be based on scientific temperament right why should anybody be deprived of their faith right every human is born equal the concept of racism today right it is busted on the scientific grounds that no race is pure no race is superior than the others everybody has 99.8% similar dna right so that 0.2% cannot make any changes in the intelligence in in your color color is uh, you know the skin color is nothing to feel proud about if you live in a tropical country your skin will make more melanin that means your skin will be dark if you are away from uh, tropical regions where sunlight is less you don't need to have that kind of melanin so your skin uh, becomes lighter in shade so that means these are these are things which we busted on scientific temperament you should say things which is good or bad based on logical thinking not based on your perception bias or ethnocentrism so this is what it is all about so jab hamare dil mein you know wo feeling aayegi ki you know we should understand their culture according to them so usse uh, sign usse jo cultural differences hai we'll start to cherish that we'll think things with an open mind you know we'll cherish those cultures so usse jo uh, ye sab cheeze hain wo bhi theek honge and now today in contemporary times we are looking at consumer ethnocentrism now what is consumer ethnocentrism like today we have seen we have we are going back from a time of globalization to now we are getting towards national interests like usa also says uh first you know you need to uh america first right india bhi aajkal you know they are thinking of atmanirbhar bharat which is not bad i'm not saying it is bad we are just saying that we all are moving towards national interest which means we are going back from globalization in globalization we were integrating and getting more uh, gradually you know connected to each other ethnocentrism people are moving away they are they are looking towards their own national interest wo bhi galat nahi hai it is not wrong but it is just that you know we are today thinking jaise america india ke case mein to it is another thing altogether but america ke case mein kya hai they are they are thinking that we should you know uh, first uh, think about ourselves hamare bare mein it's all about ki what america thinks right so that has built some kind of consumer ethnocentrism also and issues now agar hamare if we understand the things according to uh, what they must have matlab in their cultural perspective so usse hum bahut sari cheeze like hum jo violence hai clashes hai concept of racism you know cultural superiority ye sab bust kar sakte hain we can counter terrorism but one thing here there is one thing you should note that positive bhi hai aur negative bhi hai for example if i say ki cultural relativism matlab i should be more tolerant i should look at things from their perspective बट इट शुड नॉट वी कि हम इतना अंडरस्टैंड करने लग जाएं कि फिर हम वी कै वी डू नॉट सी इट साइंटिफिकली फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हम बोलें कि हम तो यू नो वी विल नॉट हर्ट एनी बडीज मतलब कल्चरल सेंटिमेंट्स तो हम गलत चीज़ों को भी मान लें लाइक जैसे हम देख रहे हैं कि बड़ी बारी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में भी ऐसे इशूज जाते हैं जब सुप्रीम कोर्ट यू नो बोलता है कि जैसे बहुत सारे केस हैं साबरीमाला इशू लगा लो ट्रिपल तलाक ये चलो रिलीजियस इशूज़ हैं बट जो भी है यू नो साबरीमाला इशू है या ट्रिपल तलाक है दे वर समथिंग विच डिप्राइव वीमेन ऑफ देयर फेथ और वट एवर इट इज़ आई एम नॉट सेंग करेक्ट रॉन्ग बट सुप्रीम कोर्ट टुक अ स्टैंड ऑन इट राइट सो दैट मीन्स दे वर थिंकिंग अबाउट इट साइंटिफिकली सो पॉजिटिव ये है कि यू अंडरस्टैंड देयर परस्पेक्टिव एंड नेगेटिव ये है कि आप इतना ना समझने लग जाओ कि यू नो यू स्टार्ट टू अग्री और टेक वट एवर इज रॉन्ग ऑल्सो यू नो सो दैट इज वेयर योर लॉजिकल रीजनिंग साइंटिफिक टेम्परामेंट वुड कम इन कि एक एमिक परस्पेक्टिव और एटिक परस्पेक्टिव दोनों होना चाहिए ना वॉट इज एमिक एंड एटिक आई विल टेल यू एमिक मीन्स इन साइडर्स परस्पेक्टिव लुकिंग एट थिंग्स फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ हुज कल्चर इट इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल if i am a if i am a tribal think like a tribal 
देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड कि ओके अगर ये लोग कुछ ऐसा करते हैं तो ये ऐसा क्यों करते हैं राइट एंड अगेन लुकिंग एट फ्रॉम अ आउटसाइडर्स परस्पेक्टिव दैट मीन्स इफ आई एम नॉट अ ट्राइबल एंड आई कैन सी यहाँ पे कुछ लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ दे आर डूइंग यू नो देर आर कॉन्सैंगस मैरिज दैट मीन्स मैरिज इज बिटवीन क्लोज किंग्स दैट इज क्लोज रिलेटिव इट कैन इट मे ब्रीड डिजीज अमंग्स दैम राइट बिकॉज अगर क्लोज कजन्स में या ब्रदर सिस्टर की मैरिज होती है तो उसकी वजह से जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर्स होने के चांसेस रहते हैं सो इट मे वेल डू दैट सो दैट साइंटिफिक ना आई डो नॉट वॉन्ट टू हर्ट दे सेंटिमेंट्स बट इट इज दैट समथिंग विच इज नॉट साइंटिफिकली हेल्दी फॉर दैम सो दैट डिस्टिंग्विश करना इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू नो इट शुड नॉट कम फ्रॉम अ परसेप्शन बायस इट शुड कम फ्रॉम अ प्लेस ऑफ लॉजिकल थिंकिंग एंड टेम्परामेंट राइट सो दिस इज वॉट आर टॉपिक वॉज ऑल अबाउट आई होप uh i made my points clear i might have deviated from some points in the slides but this was just to make you understand because this was a very important topic in the syllabus and this was the heart this is one of those uh, topics jo heart and soul hai anthropology ka so that is why right so please do like share and subscribe kal hum new topic start karenge we'll start with the new topic any suggestions please post in the comment section below Please guys do share and subscribe thank you